Oh, that just made me feel so sick. Oh, it looks like an angel. Oh, no, 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 no. G'day, marshmallows, and welcome back to the Coco Couch. We are watching The Silence of the Lambs. I have no flipping clue what this movie's about. I had a friend suggest it to me, as well as a bunch of you guys in the comments. I've heard that it has Anthony Hopkins in it. If I'm not mistaken, this has the character called Hannibal in it, who's a very iconic sort of character I've seen pop up in... Um, pop culture a couple times. I guess it's a creepy sort of movie. I, I don't know. But I'm just excited to see what it's all about. So without further ado, let's jump into it. Oh, Jodie Foster's in this. All right. And of course, Anthony Hopkins. I've seen Jodie Foster in a couple things and I've really, really liked her performances. Ah, it's Jodie. FBI Academy. Oh, she's doing some sort of like basic training or something. Is that why she was pulling up the rope? This feels very intense. More than I feel like it should be, you know? I wonder if it's just accentuating how she's feeling inside or something. Mm. Well, she's obviously very capable. I think that guy just looked at the camera. <laughs> <laughs> she's so small. Maybe it's making a point, hey, that she's very capable despite being small or having a bunch of men around her all the time. Bill skins fifth. Oh, goodness. Okay. Oh, right. So they're really struggling to find this guy. Okay. Sit down. We're interviewing all the serial killers now in custody, psychobehavioral profile. Most of them have been happy to talk to us. You spook easily, Starling? Not yet, sir. See, the one we want most refuses to cooperate. I want you to go after him again today in the asylum. Damn. The psychiatrist, Hannibal Lecter. Hannibal the cannibal. I don't expect him to talk to you. That is a huge responsibility to give to her. I want your full attention, Starling. Yes, sir. Be very careful with Hannibal Lecter. You don't want Hannibal Lecter inside your head. Yeah. Just do your job, but never forget what he is. And what is that? Oh, he's a monster. Mm -hmm. Pure psychopath. Good transition. You know, we get a lot of detectives here, but I must say I can't ever remember one as attractive. Mates. Because this can be quite a fun town if you have the right guide. Ew. Imagine not feeling safe outside the bars that the psychopaths are in. <laughs> Gosh, man. Crawford's very clever, isn't he, using you? Pretty young woman to turn him on. I graduated from QVA, doctor. It is not a charm school. And you should be able to remember the rules. I don't like this guy. Do not touch the glass. Do not approach the glass. Use the sliding food carrier. No exceptions. This is super serious. He complained of chest pains and was taken to the dispensary. When the nurse leaned over him, he did this to her. The doctors managed to reset her jaw, save one of her eyes. The pulse never got above 85. Oh. And we never saw the photo. Oh, that's so creepy. Lecter feels that you're his enemy. Well, maybe we'll have more luck if I go in by myself. That's a good point. Yeah. You might have suggested this in my office and saved me the time. Oh, boohoo. So I wonder why they did send her. Was it more of an opportunity for her than it was for for them trying to get information from Hannibal. Because he did admit, right, that they don't expect him to tell her anything. I'm Barney. He told you, don't get near the glass. He's past the others. The last cell, you'll do fine. Careful. <laughs> oh, what the hell, dude? God. <laughs> May I see your credential? The way he just stands there. Closer, please. Hmm. Closer. Uh. Expires in one week. You're not wearing a PI, aren't you? I'm here to learn from you. Maybe you can decide for yourself whether or not I'm qualified enough to do that. Hmm. Hmm. The respect. Sit, please. The, the shots make it look like there's no glass between them. It's very good. It makes it feel so personal. What did Miggs say to you? He said, I can smell your cunt. I myself cannot. Uh. You use every our skin cream. Sometimes you wear a lead, but not today. 
You do all these drawings, Doctor? That is the Duomo seen from the Belvedere. Oh, wow, he's very good. Do you know why he's called Buffalo Bill? It started as a bad joke in Kansas City homicide. They said, this one likes to skin his humps. <laughs> he's such an interesting character, though. You look like a rube. Good nutrition's given you some length of bone, but you're not more than one generation from poor white trash. Dang. That accent you've tried so desperately to share your West Virginia dream of getting out, getting all the way to the empathy pie. Gee. Why don't you look at yourself and write down what you say? You may be afraid. Hmm. A census taker once tried to test me. I ate his liver with some fava beans and a nice Chianti. Oh, that just made me feel so sick. Oh, bro. Look at the blood! Oh, oh, oh. Mate, you stupid oh, it's so gross. I would not have had that happen to you. This courtesy is unspeakably ugly to me. I'll give you a chance for what you love most. Go seek out Miss Moffat, an old patient of mine. Go now! Gee. Oh, that was horrible, though. It's like as soon as that happened, he had a lot of sympathy for her. Yeah, I don't think that's something you can just walk away from so easily. Jeez, that's so violating. Daddy. Hey, Clarice. Oh. Uh. <laughs> mm. Are we going to get more snippets like that throughout the movie of her past? Yeah, hands up. Don't move. You're dead, Starling. Where's your danger area? In the corner, sir. Did you check the corner? No, sir. Right, so Hannibal was very good. Sir? Miggs is dead. <gasps> How? The orderly heard Lecter whispering to him all afternoon. They found him at bed check. He'd swallowed his own tongue. Oh! <gasps> Starling? What the hell? He talked him into basically suicide? Lecter did it to amuse himself. He mentioned a name at the end. Uh... Moffat. Your self-reference was too hokey for Lecter's. I figured he's from Baltimore. There's a yourself storage facility right outside of downtown Baltimore. Sir. Hmm. Nice. I reckon um, Hannibal got Miggs killed because he was so disrespectful to uh, Clarice. And I guess maybe Hannibal's already formed an attachment to Clarice and took it personal. Stuck. Hmm. I like how this movie just subtly shows you different ways that she's capable. Oh, if this door should fall down, <laughs> anything else. <laughs> this is the number for our Baltimore field office. Ah, that was nice trousers too. That, if I shone my torch at that in the dark, that would have freaked me out. Oh my goodness, okay, never mind. There's more, there's worse things. <laughs> Oh, lovely. <laughs> <gasps> what the hell? What the heck's a head doing in a car in someone's storage unit? <laughs> they told her not to take anything from him. Thank you. Oh, it was just a dryer hair? Uh, Daddy, it's nothing. Why don't you ask me about Buffalo Bill. Do you know something about him? Might if I saw the case file. <laughs> I did not kill him, I assure you. Merely tucked him away very much as I found him. But if you didn't kill him, then who did, sir? His therapy was going nowhere. <laughs> Goodness. How did you feel when you saw him, Clarice? Scared at first, then exhilarated. Jack Crawford is helping your career, isn't he? You think Jack Crawford wants you sexually? Oh, this is getting personal. Do you think he visualizes scenarios fucking you? That doesn't interest me, Doctor. It's the sort of thing that Miggs would say. Ooh. Not anymore. Thank you, Barney. What happened to your drawings? Punishment, you see, for Miggs. When you leave, they'll turn the volume way up. The children does enjoy his petty taunting. Gee, okay. Did you mean by transformation, Doctor? No, I get back from the glass. What I want is a view. I want a window where I can see a tree or even water. What did you mean by fledgling killer? I'll help you catch him, Clary. But what's in it for you? You know who he is, don't you? All good things to those who wait. Our little Billy must already be searching for that next special lady. Ah! 
Jeez. Mate, so he's just kind of enjoying the process of Clarice figuring it out, right? And just giving her breadcrumbs. Um... They have night vision. Is this person watching her the killer? Like, THE killer? Just keep walking, don't help. Oh, but she's gonna be so kind-hearted. Can I help you with that? Uh. Scared this. Oh, okay. Get in the truck. I want to push it all the way up. No, don't do. Oh gosh. Uh, Damn it. it all the way uh. Hey, are you about a size 14? Uh. Oh, so evil. Goodness me. Why did he care about the size? Goodness me, what the? Found a girl's body down in West Virginia. That was training? That's awesome. Keeps him alive for three days. We don't know why. The mutilation you see there is post-mortem. Three days. Then he shoots them, skins them, and dumps them. Gosh. This is so horrible. Just following this murderer. This new one today washed up. Here, River, West Virginia. I really hope Hannibal gives her information she needs quickly. He'll never stop. Why not? He's getting better at his work. That's horrible, isn't it? You, you murder enough people, you start to develop a taste for it. Ugh. That's why you sent me in there, isn't it? If I'd sent you in there with an actual agenda, Lecter would have known it instantly. Oh. So complete ignorance was the best way to actually have Hannibal open up to her. That makes total sense, actually. We appreciate being invited to your jurisdiction. This type of sex crime has certain aspects I just as soon discussed in private. What's that about? They're excluding her? Oh, don't look at her like that. What the hell? She hasn't done nothing! Oh, this poor girl. Oh, I see. I was wondering what was up with the close-up. Dad was gone when she was so young. You officers and gentlemen, listen here now. Thank you for your kindness and your sensitivity. Go on now, let us take care of her. Go on now. Mate, they're so disrespectful. So unfair, hey. There's like an automatic disadvantage there to command a room. <laughs> Can someone tell me in the comments what this is for? I'm assuming it has to do with covering the smell of the body so that you don't get sick, maybe? <laughs> They're not gonna show us it? Star-shaped contact entrance wound over the, uh, sternum? Wrongful death. Wrongful death. Talk about a trial by fire. Ah. Uh... Her fingernails are broken off. Looks like she's tried to claw her way through something. Jeez. She's got something in her throat. Oh, gosh. Ugh. Seed pod? It's like a cocoon. That's a bug cocoon. Yeah. What is it like a is it a butterfly cocoon? Different configuration. Oh the other goodness me. Close -ups. Skin removed, this time in two large diamond shaped sections. I told the sheriff we shouldn't talk in front of a woman. That really burned you, didn't it? Cops look at you to see how to act. Exactly, yeah. He set an expectation, didn't he? All of them looked at her like that because of his f initial act, right? If he showed respect to her, they would have as well. And slow, baby. Oh. <laughs> we'll lose one of your men. Does that still count? Of course it counts. How do you play? Agent Starling? <laughs> oh, are they all friends? It's Buffalo Bill, isn't it? You mean this is like a clue from a real murder case? Cool. Oh. Yeah, it's cool if you don't know the rest of the context. What do you do when you're not detecting Agent Starling? Try to be a student, Dr. Pilcher. You ever go out for cheeseburgers and beer? <laughs> yeah. Are you hitting on me, Doc? Yes. At least he's honest. Better known to his friends as the Death's Head Moth. Only lived in Asia. Got him honey and nightshade. Dang. Somebody loved him. Wow, okay. I wonder what the symbolism's for, hey. Wait, what was the... They used the whole thing earlier when they're talking with Hannibal, right? About this sort of transformation, right? Similar way that it goes from a cocoon to a, a butterfly or a moth, right? I guess it's symbolic of this killer's transformation, perhaps? Oh, 
Are you kidding me? She's in a well? Catherine is very gentle and kind. You have the power. I know you can feel love and compassion. Treat Catherine better than the world has treated you. Is this gonna work? My daughter is Catherine. Boy, that's smart. Really? She keeps repeating the name. She sees Catherine as a person and not just an object. It's harder to tear her up. So, like, it's not just a mum talking to a killer. It's actually a very strategic. I am not just some turnkey. This is the number for the U.S. Attorney's Office. I think you discuss this with him or you let me do my job. Hmm. Yeah, exactly. If your profile helps us catch Buffalo Bill, time to save Catherine Martin. The senator promises you a transfer with a view of the woods nearby. Maximum security still applies, of course. That's pretty fair deal. I can't tell. Like, is he analyzing her? Or is he thinking about what she just said? If I help you, Clarice, it will be terms with us, too. Mm -hmm. Quo, I tell you things, you tell me things about yourself. Go, Doctor. What is your worst memory of childhood? The death of my father. Tell me about it and don't lie right now. Damn. Surprise, two burglars coming out of the back of a drugstore. They shot him. My mother died when I was very young. My father mm. had become the whole world to me. You can feel the sympathy. I was 10 years old. You're very frank, Larry. I think it would be quite something to know you in private life. So tell me about Miss West Virginia. She had an object deliberately inserted into her throat. Is it a butterfly? Wow. The significance of the mark is change. Yeah. Our belly wants to change too. Transsexuals are very passive. Clever girl. You're so close to the way you're going to catch him. Tell me why. <laughs> yeah. After your father's murder, you are orphaned. What happened next? Yikes, man. He's good. I went to live with my mother's cousin and her husband in Montana. They had a ranch. Is this where the trauma begins? Did the rancher make you perform fellatio? Did he sodomize you? He was a very decent man. Quid pro quo, doctor. Billy is not a real transsexual. He tries to be. There are three major centers for transsexual surgery. I wouldn't be surprised if Billy had applied for sex reassignment. Right, so he doesn't meet the criteria. On what basis would they reject him? Our Billy wasn't born a criminal. He was made one through years of systematic abuse. It rubs the lotion on its skin. It does this whenever it's told. Mr. My family will pay cash. The wording, it, not you need to or she needs to it needs to rub the lotion on the skin now it places the lotion in the basket i want to go home please yeah this is hard for him put the fucking lotion in the basket <laughs> oh god oh there's a fingernail I called Senator Ruth. She never heard of any deal with you. They scammed you, Hannibal. Stand outside. Barney. The way he said Barney to him. Of course, I worked in a few conditions for my own benefit as well. Oh, he sees a weapon. If the girl is found in time, I'll have you transferred to Brushy Mountain State Prison, Tennessee. Who is Buffalo Bill? First name is Lewis. I told the rest of the senator himself, but only in Tennessee. Did you have a trainee make some sort of phony offer to Lecter? I rolled the dice I had to. Well, she's mad as hell, Jack. Ah, there's the iconic mask. I've seen that image before. Creepy as. The sign right here will have us a legal transfer. I hate how smug this guy is. He's literally asking for it, hey? Sorry, use mine. <gasps> oh, he took his pen for sure. Yeah, 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 yeah. Dr. Hannibal Lecter. Dr. Lecter? I won't waste your time or Catherine's time bargaining for petty privileges. Flobel's real name is Louis Friend. Tell me, Senator, did you breastfeed her? Toughened your nipples, didn't it? Oh, gosh. Amputate a man's leg and he can still feel it tickling. Your little girl is on the slab. Where will it tickle you? Take this thing. Oh, my gosh. Hair blonde, eyes pale blue. He said he lived in Philadelphia, but may have lied. Matey gets inside people's heads. Love your suit. Gee. The eyes are just... They look lifeless, but there's so much behind them. It's crazy. Access to Lecter is strictly limited. We've been getting death threats. Log in, check your weapon. I wonder what that was about. It's like they were considering not letting her in, but then... His female partner, like, looked at him and was like, come on. Some kind of vampire? They don't have a name for it yet. Yeah, exactly. 
Good evening, Perry. <laughs> hmm. People will say we're in love. Your anagrams are showing, Doctor. Read Marcus Aurelius. Of each particular thing, ask what is it in itself? What is its nature? Hmm. What does he do, this man you see? He kills women. What needs does he serve by killing? Sexual frustration. Right? No, he covets. He covets. What, so he, he wants to be them, right? He wants to be the women? This is your turn to tell me, Clarice. Why did you leave that ranch? Oh, this is deep. After your father's murder, you were orphaned. You were 10 years old. And? This shot. I heard a strange noise. What was it? Screaming. Like a child's boy. What did you do? I crept up into the barn. I was scared to look inside, but I had to. What did you see, Clarice? <sighs> this shot. Lamb. They were screaming. They were slaughtering the spring lambs. Mm. I opened the gate to their pen, but they wouldn't run. They, they wouldn't run. I took one lamb and I ran away as fast as I could. I thought what if I could save just one, but it was so heavy. Uh. And the sheriff's car picked me up. Rancher was so angry, he sent me to live at the Lutheran Orphanage in Postman. Uh. What became of your lamb, Glory? They killed him. Wake up in the dark and hear the screaming of the lamb. Mm. <laughs> Do you think if you save poor Catherine, you could make them stop? Yeah. If Catherine lives, you won't wake up in the dark ever again to that awful screaming of the lamb. Got right down to a trauma. It's your turn, Doctor. You will let me know when those lambs stop screaming, won't you? Your case file. Bye, Harry. Ooh, a little touch there. That's the only time or the most intimate he's been with her this whole movie, right? I guess he's so vulnerable with her more than other people is because, not because she's just capable and intelligent, but because she's also so innocent and has that trauma. He's like sympathetic. Also, she's very polite to him. She's, she's very nice. Ready when you are, Doc. I'm just curious about this whole pen thing, right? He's had this pen this entire time. I'm like, when is he gonna use it? Son of a bitch demanded a second dinner. Oh God. Now's the time. So creepy. creepy. It's smart because he normally holds his hands in that weird sort of way, so he wouldn't suspect he's carrying something. Oh no! No 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 don't 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 Dude, watch him! Oh! Oh! Gosh! You could see the massive chunk taken out of his cheek. So really, these are the only two guys looking after him? Oh, he got the knife instead of just batting him to death. The implications. Give me the SWAT team and an ambulance, double quick. So that's that's nuts. He's probably going to escape. Hey, well, he got his freedom. Oh, it looks like an angel. Oh no, 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 no! Wait. Oh God. Jeez. Uh, uh, <laughs> this movie is going to make me sick. I swear. Wait, what? Get a hold of him more and feel his hand, son. Talk to him. If he can talk, there's a reason why. Remember, can you hear me? How did he get out, though, right? We're losing him. Down the stairs. Oh, gosh. Elevator. This poor guy must be in so much pain. Main stairwell secured. Um, what? Is there a body on top of the elevator? Is that why it moved down to three? I thought it must have been a body, right? I mean, I know there's the other two, though they found the other two, but it just, why is it bleeding so much through the elevator? Didn't even flinch. There's gotta be some sort of catch to this. Memphis General, this is medical unit 26. A severe facial laceration, good. Pressure is 130 over nine. Got him on lactated ringers running. Uh, and the uh, patient is on- Oh my God. No. That is insane. He used his face to get out. That is brilliant and so fricked up. Oh, so he's he's making something out of this skin. What is he making? Some sort of like dress or something out of human skin? I I, I mean that would 
makes sense why he needed size like 14, right? First girl taken, third body found. What did Lecter say about the first principles? Simplicity. Covets. How do we first start to covet? We covet what we see every day. You know her. Right. So she's the one that kind of started it off, which is why she lived longer. Okay, so I could be wrong, but I'm assuming that he's creating some sort of outfit, these victims' skin, right? And that's his way of sort of going through a metamorphosis, right? Like going from a caterpillar to a butterfly. He was denied any sort of treatment, right? Hormonal treatment. So I'm assuming he's going to make it, he's making a dress instead, like a, like actual a skin for himself out of women. He's been back here so many times already. Upstairs, door to the left. Yeah, this poor guy. Damn, what? And they didn't find that? Well done, Clarice. Oh, so did she sew these? He's making himself a woman's suit, Mr. Crawford, out of real women. Oh. We know who he is and where he is. Calumet City, edge of Chicago. Chicago's only 400 miles from here. I'll be there in... No, 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 Starling. We want him for murder, not kidnapping. See what you can dredge up in Belvedere. We wouldn't have found him without you. Thank you, sir. Yeah, but she wa she wants to be there, right? It's kind of like closure for her, right? This, this whole Silence of the Lambs thing. No. I wonder what the auditions for this part would have been like. You ever mention a man named uh, Jamie Gum? She had a guy I'd have known, believe me. Sewing was her life. And Pam Malavese used to help her do alterations for old Mrs. Littman. Can you give me Mrs. Littman's address? I need to talk to her. Yeah, there we go. They probably got the address wrong, hey? Finding it interesting throughout this whole movie how many close-up shots they're using where the actor is looking right down the barrel of the camera. Really effective, because it feels like they're speaking into the character's souls. Down here, you sack of shit! Moves like that could either go really horribly or really well, you know? Don't you hurt my dog! Don't you make me hurt your dog! Poor dog, it's just in the middle of all this. Didn't do nothing wrong. Oh boy, you're in trouble. We're going in. Good afternoon. <gasps> Lipman's family. Oh my gosh, Lord. There's no one here, Jack. Clarice. Uh, Jack Gordon. Frederica used to work for Mrs. Littman. She's a great big fat person. She has no idea. Got his card in here someplace. So if you want to come in, Because well... she thinks I've found the guy somewhere completely different. Oh gosh, man. She thinks the investigation's over. And they're 400 miles away. Tax forms. Oh, the butterfly to her, right? There's like so many clues sitting around. Ugh. Come on, Clarice. Yeah. Careful. Use your phone, please. <laughs> freeze! Put your hands in the back, thumbs up. Freeze! Oh, you're kidding me! <gasps> Don't go in the basement! Uh, but you can't do anything else, right? If you know someone's down there, you have to make sure the place is clear before you do anything else. Oh, careful, Clarice. <laughs> Oh gosh, that's horrifying, man. You're all right, Kath. Now where is he? You're in a man's basement that uses women's skin as a suit. Get me out of here! I gotta leave this room. I'll be right back. It's crazy. Yeah, and he could kill both of you. Other oh, moths flying around as well. Oh. Oh, I hate how quiet this guy is. We haven't seen a peep from him. Oh! Oh, no. He can be watching her? Oh, it's so creepy. Oh, man. It's like a callback, too, to her checking her corners, right? Oh gosh. Oh my gosh. Did he get a bullet in her at all? Gosh, man. 
That was... Oh, what an intense scene, man. Oh. Oh, she's got the dog, too. You okay? Come powder, it's nothing. Hey, Buffalo Bill, this address. Oh, yeah, no, she'd just be... Oh, mate, she's gonna have some trauma. Clarice M. Starling. Congratulations. <laughs> Yeah, she deserves that far out. She did literally majority of the work of taking down this guy. Thank you, Mr. Crawford. Father would have been proud today. Don't forget your phone call. Wow, Clarice. <gasps> have the lamb stopped screaming? I have no plans to call on you, Clarice. The so you take care now to extend me the same courtesy. You know I can't make that promise. I'm having an old friend for dinner. Oh, no. Oh, you're kidding me. Oh, that's so haunting. Dr. Lecter. Oh, excuse me, I'm sorry. Just a reminder that he's out there. Oh, he's gonna eat him. Of course he is. Yeah, that was that was a long time coming, hey. Gee. Oh, that's so horrible knowing he's just out there. <laughs> that's it. Gosh, man. So hey, what a messed up movie. <laughs> Gosh. Goodness gracious me. I had a thought just at the end. I was just wondering whether um, the reason he was following Clarice and not killing her immediately. I'm wondering whether that was him once again coveting her possibly. Like the way he kept reaching out for her. I could be wrong, but I'm just wondering whether that was him sort of like almost like selfishly taking advantage of the moment to just really like let her sink in, I guess. Like he was just in this position of just complete like envy possibly like the whole coveting thing right um and that's ultimately what got him killed right um which is kind of poetic but yeah i mean also the fact that um they found out where he lived based on um that girl's address and that sort of thing um because he was coveting her for a few days right it ultimately led to his downfall um which is which is which is interesting the acting from hopkins was absolutely just incredible um so haunting said so much with the eyes even though most of his body and face facial expressions felt so um limited and like rigid like he wasn't it wasn't like he was doing anything really dynamic but everything was just so displayed through um, the subtlety in the eyes and you could see his soul his intentions and it was just so horrifying um, brilliant brilliant performance and you know Jodie Foster killed it as well she was she had like a really good balance between being like this very courageous um, brave and strong sort of character while also having like this sort of naive also like vibe as well of, of innocence um she balanced those two really really well i think half the movie you felt like oh this person's so capable she's a badass she she's so smart she can do anything but then there's also scenes where you just feel like she's just like a, a toddler just in the most unspeakable circumstances you know it was just such a good sort of way to it was such just really really good writing too um I, there was a few twists in there that were just incredible like the whole him wearing the officer's face as like a mask to get out of the hot to get out of the building that was goodness me that was intense i like i was very confused because i was like well why is there a body on the elevator that's bleeding right um and the movie tried to tell us that it was just um Hannibal, like with just blood all over him and i was kind of like ah, i don't know it just i just assumed it'd be a body um which it was <laughs> but um it just confused me because i was like well then where's hannibal then i thought he just left but um yeah it, it was him the body i think it was interesting um just the whole situation with um anthony hopkins character um hannibal being so sympathetic towards Jodie Foster's character Clarice I thought that that whole relationship was super super interesting and kind of the driving force of the movie um, was just him trying to make her more vulnerable while she was trying to get more information out of him because obviously he'd messed around with people previously right and but she was the only person that he was actually opening up to and was curious about it's like I'm wondering whether that had to do with the fact that he he saw something in her 
straight away that made us sympathize with her and it was also i think i think i attributed a lot of it to just the fact that she's so innocent but also very respectful i think he sees that she's almost like a lamb herself right and he sees that she's so virtuous um and just childlike despite the fact that she's super intelligent and witty that you know he's he finds entertainment and the joy out of um you know getting to know her and spending time with her um and you know even even at the end there when he tells her have the have the lamb stop uh, like screaming or whatever i think that that was even another way of him actually genuinely caring i really enjoyed it for what it is it's a masterpiece to me and I, I thought that the whole Silence of the Lambs thing, I thought that was a super interesting sort of way to encapsulate the movie, right? It's like the Silence of the Lambs is either um, the silence of a lamb um, in freedom, like escaping death, or it's a lamb that is facing death, like lambs that are dying, um, which could be another way of the victims of these murders or the silence of the girl when she gets rescued, right? Well, I hope you guys enjoyed yourselves. I did. Please like and subscribe, and I will see you all next time. Stay cozy.